Hey guys, what's up? Rajat from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. In this video, I'll talk about how to remove your backgrounds by using IBK Color and IBK Gizmo inside of Nuke X. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. So guys right now we're in Nuke X version 12.2 and after a long time finally the Nuke tutorial is here guys so if you guys are excited for this then please subscribe like comment and share also okay so in this video I'll talk about IBK color and IBK gizmo and by using that I'm trying to remove this green screen from this footage so let's play the footage first so this is a very basic footage with a very good quality green screen and let me tell you that IBK color and IBK gizmo is already using on many companies like many production houses are using this for chromine actually it is based on a uh, keying method by using this you can exactly key your background and uh, yeah let's talk about more so first of all you have to take by pressing tab ibk so let's take it like ibk color and the second one is all about ibk gizmos this tutorial is a very short tutorial so don't skip the video i suggest you please watch it completely so what is exactly ibk color and ibk gizmo so let me tell you that this node is trying to create a very good clean plate by taking information background from this green screen yes so uh, just connect this IPK color to this one and just press one here so it will be a complete black so double click here it will go inside of this so let me show you that this is already screen type by default is blue so you have to remove our green screen so from here by default to so change it to green so now what happened if you notice this area is cut out and the green screen is whatever is there is same like before okay so now if you notice this area is basically stretched and blurred and this black edges are there so let's go through with all these options so basically this is a screen type as you saw this and and then it's coming like size darks light lights erode and patch black okay so the size is all about this area size so if you increase this if you notice this area is coming complete green and it will blend okay and if you decrease it it will complete go back now see if i increase this this area is actually our starting edge and this is complete inside because we increase the size to 10 so the first time if you have make it to zero because we have our very good green skin so let's make it to two so see this is the original one and let's make it to one to see the new one then press toggle this if you notice the already keyer is very good but there is very less areas that are already in out so basically what you have to do you have to create a clean green plate here by using this ibk colors so in this case we are trying to use the stack method so let me show you what is stack method it is so first of all we are exactly decreasing the green value from this darkness so just decrease it like 0 0.01 so for the basic purpose i am starting this for the very first time it's 0 0.01 is very good number of starting and now you have to decrease this value from 0 1 to let's take around decrease it to a little bit like minus 0 0 0.1 2 3 minus so just decrease it in more until you will find this black patches will come here so let me show you what exactly it was so just decrease it like few many times and you will find after some time it will suddenly going back so until here it's fine okay this area is going complete black so what happened you have to increase this light value from here so the green information of light value have to increase so just increase it to like one now if you can see when you increase this it's exactly going like normal so just you have to increase it a little more so two three four now basically what you're trying to do the edge will be like press this to like two this is our basic edge and this is our like normal edge which is exactly in we have to increase it to until here okay so press erode so you have to increase this erode value to increase it like little bit more so now what happened when you press like one two see this was our previous edge and this is our current edge which is little bit eroded so what happened exactly this green skin area information will continue here as well see this edge is little bit eroded so let's increase it a little bit more and increase the light value to a little bit higher okay little down and decrease this one also so you have to play with this is completely up to you how much you want to create a very good uh, like patches and also let's play once let's see that any mistakes are happening or not okay this is completely looks fine now go to the first frame okay so this is for the very first time it's okay now after that select this one and control c and control v so it means it will copy and paste and this method is exactly called like the stacking method then the double click here now you have to increase little bit of the size from this one like let's take around 10 so if you notice the 
area is little bit squeezed down. So when you just press D here, so this is my previous one and this is my current one. So if you notice this green information is exactly same and it's very smooth also. So now you have to increase the patch black as well. So let's increase it like two. So now if you notice this area is completely started blending together. Now see control C again and control V it again. Double click here. Now we have to increase it the size to let's click around like 12 and the patch black is let's check around three. It's fine. If you notice it's completely very good green skin is coming here. So let's play the video to check that there is any other way to like the patch black is exactly coming in this way or not. So in this case, I have found it that there is no other things are coming in this way. So the exact green skin is coming really good in a proper way. There is no other corrections. So just go to the back frame in the first frame. Now the next thing is all about the IBK gizmo. So we have this BG pipe. We have the C for clean plate, which will connect to this one. And we have the foreground one. So for this one, we have to connect the C pipe to this one. And the BG pipe is left it like a foreground one should be at this one. So just connect this two and then just let it make it a little bit precise so that it will handle it very clearly. And then just release these all buttons and simply select and press one okay so this is your basic setup is right now done so now as you can see there is no changes are here and the screen type when you double click here the screen type will be by default which will be c blue so just change it from c blue to c green so now you can see suddenly the areas are going black so press a to check the alpha now inside of alpha you can find a lot of areas are already going like uh, transparent this is are like transparent areas these areas are not also good so you have to fix this area i'll show you how you can fix this as well now in this area you can find this many options so let me tell you what exactly it is so this is like screen type as i changed here then next is all about like colors all about it will change the screen colors and then the red value the blue and green weight actually it's a weight of red value and the blue and green value then the luminance match and the auto levels will turn on the auto levels it will automatically match your levels i prefer don't turn this on try to do it manually and if it will not working then try with other these options so now I will show you how to remove this kind of like transparent areas and you will find a very good your output. So first of all, we have to take a new note called color lookup and it will come like this and we are already in alpha mode. So just click this alpha button here and let's down this and now in this alpha here, just select this one and let's increase it to something like that. If you notice this area is going normal and select this one and you have to make it to something this so it will become your alpha to be very good now see if you notice these areas are all a little bit black area so if you just disable this one just press d here this is my previous one and this is my current one okay there's a lot of difference here now a few areas are still there so what you have to do so just double click here in this IBK gizmo and just increase it a little bit. Don't increase too much. I'm increasing like 0.5 to 0.6. It's pretty much good enough. And after that, if you press alpha here, you can find this many areas are still there. So what you have to do, double click in this color lookup and just select this alpha select this one and let's make it to a little bit down so what happened when you press alpha here it will completely gone so now your alpha is completely good one and if you check the alpha edges are also pretty well if you want to make it tweak some more in this tutorial i'm not showing you in depth because it's a tutorial you can play with this now after that you can take a pre-mult just take a pre-mult and that's this and then press A so it will be complete cutout area. Okay, now go to the first frame and this will complete look. Now you have to add our background here. So just break a merge node here and this will be our foreground and we have our image already imported. So let's make it here and then just press the B pipe to here and let's make it a little bit precise and something like that and then just simply press one. So now then take a reformat here, just take a reformat and it will completely look like this and then just if you have to want some defocus you can exactly let's make it to like defocus it's basically all about like uh, you can call it like compositing stuff it's actually using for compositing as well now i'm adding a defocus let's increase the value to a little bit higher now this character is already like a little bit red or like yellow so we have to change the background color so let's take a like grade node and from the grain value you have to change some color settings as well so let's increase the right one and let's in decrease the blue one yep now background and the foreground is almost same now guys you have to play with this all now if you play this it will uh, completely look like this so guys we have done successfully let me show you the how the edges are exactly look like so this is my final output and this is my like normal so if you notice the edges are exactly same here 
so you have to make it more precise if you want to do see they just are almost good almost good it's 99 percent fixed but if you want to check there is any other mistakes or not you can exactly check it like press one on this pre-multiply or let's take around like this color lookup and just press shift and control and drag it here so you can find this is completely like 0.03751 it's under the one value so it means like whatever is coming like zero point like under the one value it will exactly acceptable uh, based on industry level stuffs so just select the merge node again and you can want to add so many stuff like edge blur and all it's completely like you can do light traps as well so guys this is it for today i hope you really enjoyed this short and simple tutorial from nuke ibk color and ibk gizmos and if you really love my this new videos and other videos as well then don't forget to like comment and share and also press the subscribe button to get more notification also you have to press the notification bell button okay guys if you still not follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in the description box below go and follow us on over there i will see in my next video till then have fun stay healthy keep rocking keep watching pfx world